Gargantia on the Verderous Planet, Japanese, Kuishing no Garugantia Hepburn, Susei no Gargantia is a Japanese anime television series produced by Production IG and directed by Kazuya Murata, and aired between April and June 2013. A manga adaptation began serialization in Kadokawa Shoten's New Type Ace magazine in January 2013. Topic. Plot In the distant future, humankind has taken to the stars and formed the Galactic Alliance of Humankind, Ren Lei Yin Hei Tong Men Jinrui Ginga Dome. The Galactic Alliance is engaged in a perpetual war with a squid like alien species known as the Hideyus. Hideyazu, Hideyazu. 16-year-old Ensign Lado is a soldier in the Galactic Alliance, piloting a machine caliber, Mashinkiriba Mashin Kyariba, an artificial intelligence automated, humanoid-shaped mecha, which he refers to as, "...chamber". After a failed attempt by the Galactic Alliance to destroy an enemy super-weapon, Lado is knocked into a wormhole and loses consciousness. When he awakens, he discovers that he and Chamber have been salvaged by a ragtag band of primitive human scavengers aboard the Gargantia, a massive fleet of ships on an ocean covered planet. Chamber tells him that local star charts reveal the planet as Earth, the birthplace of humanity, a place that members of the Galactic Alliance were only familiar with from stories and believed was a myth. Lado must adjust to the language, culture and lifestyle of the planet, while finding his new purpose in life aboard the Gargantia. Characters Main characters Lado, Redo Redo. Voiced by Kato Ishikawa, Japanese, Alan Lee, English. A 16-year-old Galactic Alliance ensign. Trained as a soldier since birth, Lado finds himself shipwrecked on Earth following a failed attempt by the army to destroy the Hydos's home planet. As he interacts with his new surroundings and gets used to the crew of the Gargantia, Lado is exposed to some concepts of human society long forgotten by his civilization or at least obscured from its soldiery due to its permanent state of total war against the Hideyus, like entertainment, cooperation and tolerance. Lado gradually grows attached to his new friends on Gargantia, particularly Amy, whom he later falls in love with, Amy, Aimi Aimi. Voiced by, Hisako Kanemoto, Japanese, Cassandra Lee Morris, English. A 15-year-old messenger who meets Lado when he wakes up from hibernation and serves as his guide. She becomes Lado's first and best friend, and from all the members of Gargantia, she is the one who gets closest to him, usually keeping him company and encouraging his efforts to fit himself into the fleet's environment. She eventually falls in love with him. Gargantia Rigid, Rigido Rigido. Voiced by Sayaka Ohara, Japanese, Laura Post, English. A 22 year old high rank officer at the Gargantia, she is Fleet Commander Fairlock's second in command and daughter of his predecessor, Chevron. Following Fairlock's death, she takes over as Fleet Commander, following his wish, Bellows, Barozu Barozu. Voiced by Shizuka Ito, Japanese, Julie Ann Taylor, English. The 18 year old leader of the Gargantia's excavation team, Pinion, Pinion, Pinion. Voiced by Katsuyuki Konishi, Japanese, Patrick Seitz, English. The head of the Gargantia's repairmen. 
His older brother was killed by whale squid, and upon learning of Leto's intention to exterminate them due to their connection to the Hydeus, he decides to assist him with the pretense of exploring the whale squid territory for salvage work. After Leto clears the area of the whale squid, Pinion clams the technology salvaged by his crew to establish his own fleet, which is later annexed to Kugel's fleet. In the occasion, Pinion is appointed to be chief technician of Kugel's fleet in charge of developing weapons for it. Bebel, Biberu Biberu. Voiced by Yuka Terasaki, Japanese, Michelle Ruff, English. Amy's ten-year-old little brother with an illness that compromises his health, thus he is usually bedridden, and only moves by a wheelchair. He befriends Lado, who treats him as a younger brother, Fairlock Firaku Firaku. Voiced by Hideaki Tezuka, Japanese, Jeffrey Chalmers, English. The fleet commander of the Gargantia, who despite being sick, refuses to relinquish his post. He appoints Rigid as his successor just before he passes away, Saaya, Saya Saya. Voiced by I Kayano, Japanese, Natalie Hoover, English. Amy's friend and a reserved 15 year old messenger, Melty, Maruti Maruti. Voiced by Kana Asumi, Japanese, Janice Roman Roku, English. A hyper 14 year old messenger who is also Amy's friend. She leaves Gargantia along with the many who decide to follow Pinion's plan, Rima, Rima, Rima. Voiced by, Anori Manes. A new character from the OVA series, she is a former member of Kugel's fleet who moves to the Gargantia and becomes the newest member of Amy's messenger team. She is later revealed as a spy for an unknown party, ordering a machine which resembles Chamber, Joe, Joe, Joe. Voiced by, Yuki Hayashi, Japanese, Sean Finkel, English, Grace, Gersu Gersu. Voiced by, Ai Kayano, Japanese, Michelle Ruff, English. Amy's pet flying squirrel, Flange, Faranji Faranji. Voiced by Azo Suda, Japanese, Doug Stone, English. A major shipleader in the Gargantia who agrees with Pinion's plan and secedes from the fleet to accompany his efforts to reclaim technology from ancient civilizations. Later he is forced to join Kugel's fleet along the rest of his crew, Oldham, Oradamu Oradamu. Voiced by Hideyuki Umazu, Japanese, Steve Mann, English. The resident doctor aboard Gargantia Crown, Karan Karan. Voiced by Mitsuaki Hoshino, Japanese, Kyle Hebert, English, Maida, Maida Maida. Voiced by Sora Tokui, Japanese, Caitlin Chong, English. A young repair girl aboard Gargantia. She joins Pinion when he leads a group of the fleet away. Topic: <laughs> Machine Calibers. Highly advanced mech used by the Galactic Alliance of Humankind, which was established when the humans in space joined forces against its common enemy, the Hydeus. Chamber K6821, Chamber Chamber. Voiced by Tomokazu Sugita, Japanese, Matthew Mercer, English. Chamber as Lado's male mecha and artificial intelligence assistant, a mass produced robot used in great numbers by the Galactic Alliance of Humankind. Chamber describes itself as a program designed specifically to ensure that its pilot excels at his or her assigned task, which in the case of Lado is a soldier. Upon meeting the people of the Gargantia, Chamber manages to analyze and decode their language to act as a translator between Lado and the people on Gargantia. Striker X3752, Sudareka Sudareka. Voiced by Ayumi Fujimura, Japanese, Karen Strassman, English. 
a Galactic Alliance female robot designed for higher ranked soldiers used by Kugel. Originally believed to serve as Kugel's life support system, as he was somehow unable to leave his cockpit due to a disease, it is later revealed that it was Stryker's AI who was ordering the fleet instead of him, as the real Kugel was long dead inside it. Other characters Luckage, Rake G. Rakeji Voiced by, Ayumi Sunematsu, Japanese, Johanna Luis, English A pirate leader who launched an attack on the Gargantia after Lado kills some of her men to protect Bellows and her crew. Some time after being defeated by the Gargantia's forces with Lado's help, she reappears as part of Kugel's fleet, yet she helps to rebel against it. Kugel, Kuguru Kuheru. Voiced by Yuki Ono, Japanese, Mark Dirason, English. Lado's superior at the Galactic Alliance, who disappears after he decides to stay behind to allow Lado and the others to escape after their failed attack on the Hydaeus. Lado eventually is contacted by his machine caliber striker and learns that just like him, he got stranded on Earth and joined a fleet, but unlike Lado, he remained inside his machine caliber due to a disease that prevents him from leaving, seized control over the fleet that found him, and instated a totalitarian militarist regime in the name of improving its strength and efficiency. However, it is later revealed that Kugel was long dead and Stryker was posing as him instead. Storia, Sutoria Sutoria. Voiced by Yui Hori, Japanese, Shelby Lindley, English. Ridget's childhood friend. She is gentle hearted, but she is brisk and efficient when it comes to her nursing job. Seven years before, Storia left the Gargantia to live with Ritona, 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 Ritona. Voiced by Yuichi Nakamura, Japanese, David Vincent, English. An old acquaintance of Rigid, he was chief mechanic of another fleet who went derelict after its main engine was damaged beyond repair. Before that, he falls in love with Storia and takes her to live with him. Topic. Production Jen Yorobuchi explained on the official website that the message of the story is aimed towards those in their teens and twenties, who are either about to enter into society or recently have, and is meant to cheer them on and to encourage them that, "...going out into the world isn't scary." He also said that the feeling of this work will be different from others he's been involved with. Development of Gargantia on the Verderous Planet began around November 2010, according to producer Nao Hirasawa. Mechanical designer Makoto Ishiwata said that he began his design work about two months in, and that the mechanical designs were focused on bringing out aspects of the plot. The roundness of the machine caliber's design was meant to bring out a sense of gentleness and familiarity. The difference between the personalities of Chamber and Stryker were to represent a sense of a child and a grown adult. After about a half year's worth of production, Kazuya Murata was brought in as the series director. Murata had been harboring the desire to work on a story involving people living on ships atop a world of water about ten years before the series started. Some of the story had already been arranged, but he introduced the concept of people living on giant boats, and Yorobuchi liked the idea a lot, and quickly worked it into the story. According to Yorobuchi, as they revised the plot further, Murata tended to have a very good sense of judgment as to what to put in and what not to put in, and was clear about what he was looking for, so the organization went a lot more smoothly than he thought it might have. 
Yorobuchi was put in charge of writing the first and last episodes once the green light was given for a 13-episode series in order to set the theme for the other writers. Some weeks after the series started airing, a character design contest related to the anime series was announced. It was hosted on Pixiv, and Murata and staff members of Production IG judged the entries submitted until the deadline of May 12. Originally only one among the submitted designs would be chosen, however there were 12 entries which impressed the judges to the point of announcing all of them as winners. The 12 chosen characters made an appearance in the series finale on June 30, 2013. Topic: Media. Topic: Novels. Starting a few months before the series aired, the official website began updating on a monthly basis to include short stories that further expand on the Gargantia universe. On April 3, 2015, at an event in Tokyo, Bandai Visual revealed that a sequel for the anime was planned, but due to various circumstances, was scrapped. The sequel would instead be published as two novels, titled Susei no Gargantia tilde Haruka, Kaigo no Tenchi tilde Kuishing no Garugantia tilde Yaoka, Shiehu no Tiende tilde. Gargantia on the Verderous Planet, Far Beyond the Chance Meeting of Heaven and Earth", which were published on August 29, 2015 and March 30, 2016 in Japan. <laughs> Manga Gargantia on the Verderous Planet received a manga adaptation, drawn by Wataru Mitogawa. The series serialization began in the 17th issue of Kadokawa Shoten's New Type Ace magazine, released on January 10, 2013, and after the magazine's final issue, July 10, 2013, it continued in Nikoniko's Kadokawa Nikoniko Ace web magazine. The manga has also been collected in three Tankabon volumes, published between April 8, 2013, and March 7, 2014. A spin-off manga series, titled Gargantia on the Verderous Planet, Mizahana no Bellows, Kuishing no Garugantia Shui Duan no Bero Zu Lit, The Headwaters Bellows. Drawn by Shu with story assistance by Hiroki Uchida, began serialization in Interbrain's Famitsu Comic Clear website on June 7, 2013, and ended on January 30, 2015. The series has been collected in two Tankabon volumes. <laughs> Anime The anime was directed by Kazuya Murata and produced by Production IG with character design by Hanaharu Naruko. Gen Yorobuchi supervised and wrote the first and last episodes of the series. The anime aired on Tokyo MX from April 7 to June 30, 2013. It was streamed by Crunchyroll. A web short titled, Petite Gargantia. Puchito Gargantia streamed on their official site for each episode. On March 30 and 31, 2013, at the Anime Contents Expo Bandai Visuals booth gave away 8,000 copies of the first two episodes on Blu-ray disc. The opening theme is Kono Sakai wa Bikora o Mat Ida. Kono Shiji Ahapu Rawo died. This world has been waiting for us. By Minori Chihara, while the ending theme is Sora to Kimi no Message, Kongta Kimi no Message, Sky and Your Message, by Chaocho. 
An OVA 14th episode was released along with first Blu-ray disc box set on August 28, 2013, and another, 15th, was released with the third one on October 25, 2013. The sets also include subtitles in English. At Anime Expo 2013, Viz Media announced their license to the anime, as well as plans to stream the series on their website and Hulu and release it on DVD and Blu-ray disc in 2014. A two-part OVA sequel, titled Susei no Gargantia tilde Meguru Koro, Haruka tilde Kuishing no Gurugantia tilde Meguru Hanglu, Yauka tilde Gargantia on the Verderous Planet, Far Beyond the Voyage", was released in the fall 2014 and spring 2015. Reception In April 2014, the series was nominated for the CN Award. 